Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today I'll learn something called the random function. Now the thing is we haven't learned what is a function yet. There's a reason behind that, that because it's a really advanced topic and I would like to cover it in a future tutorial. That's why I haven't covered what is a function yet. But the thing that I'm going to show you to you, the random function, does not require a deep knowledge into the functions. So getting started. I'm going to show you a brief program. What it's going to do is, it's going to generate a number using a random function and the user, us, need to guess that number. Okay, a really simple program. So I'm going to de uh, declare two integers, magic number, which is going to be generated by the random function and the number that we need to guess. So guess. So let's say we want to generate a magic number. So we need, uh, we're going to use the random function. So random function is declared like this. So this is how you declare a random function. A function is basically like a name with two brackets in the front. It can be empty or it can contain some parameters in it. Now again, this is not a tutorial on functions, but a function basically looks like this the name and the parameters, well, the parentheses with it. So all this function over here does is generates random numbers, any number, 15, 25, 41, 16, any number from ma minus infinite to positive infinite. It does not generate uh, the negative number, so do keep that in mind, it's not minus infinite. It does not generate the negative number. Any random positive number. So that number that's going to be generated is going to be stored into the magic variable over here. So that in mind, I'm going to say that the user to input a guess number, okay? So printf guess the magic number. Alright, semicolon. And now the scanf statement. Uh, let's say percent %i, because it's an integer, comma, and percent %of storing to the guess variable. So now, all we need to do is check if this number the magic variable and the guess number are equal. So we use the if else statement. So let's say if guess is exactly equal to the magic number, then print let's say you guessed it. Alright, that's done. Now we need to put the else statement if you don't guess it obviously so let's say printf uh, wrong okay all it's going to do is that so now if I run the program I'm just gonna put the slash ends over here because if not the program would look really untidy okay all this slash end does is change the line I've covered this in a previous tutorial so now if I run the program, you will see it says guess the magic number. So I have to insert an integer number. If I enter 32 for example, so wrong. Okay, I didn't guess it. Now the thing is, I know that this, this function over here, the first time you run it, it generates the number 41. I don't know why does that happens, but the compiler does that. So if I type in 41, it's going to generate the random number and it's going to say that's right. You guessed it. Now this is uh, something else. I don't know why it generates 41 every time you run it. It's it's all the compiler. I tried it with Turbo C, Dev C++, Code Blocks. Everyone generates the first number as the 41. I don't know that why it's that, but it generates for uh, different numbers if you run it multiple times. So what I've done over here again, declared two variables, one magic and one guess. Both of them are integers. So what I've done is assigned magic to any random number using the random function. Then I have told that printf statement, okay, so it would print a message on the display and saying that guess the magic number. In this case we need to enter a number. Then with the if else statements it's gonna check whether the number is exactly the same as a magic number. And if it is it will print uh print at with this, you guessed it. If not it will print wrong. It's really that simple. And if you've seen my previous tutorial uh, using the alternative to the if else, using the ternary operator, you can also do that by the following. You can say like this if guess is equal equal to magic, 
question mark then printf you guessed it okay or using the colon printf sorry for that semicolon and wrong alright so it would do that if I run the program right here you will see it runs perfectly fine guess the magic number again 41 you guessed it any other number should give me wrong wrong so see you can use this or the if else statements this is the ternary operator this was a previous tutorial so if you haven't seen that check it out it's really useful now the thing is this random function over here comes with a header file this is the header file now I haven't covered what is a header file yet but in order to get this function working you need to include this the standard library function std lib.h do include that I will have a separate tutorial on header files very soon so stay tuned for that as well so anyway this is my channel to chaos I hope you like this video rate comment subscribe thank you very much